No, 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 no. Never thought I would win. So why are you running? Symbolic? Yeah, symbolic. I want it, it to be said later on that I did offer myself. I don't want anybody to have said, well, look, you didn't offer yourself. So you, you can't be in a position to comment. You had a chance, you could have offered yourself, and you did not. But, but Mr. Ellington, no one runs in politics to lose. That is the normal and the conventional person. I'm always unconventional, you know that. Very much so. Yeah. Okay. But when you look at the fact that you've put forward that, that should you not win today's convention, you will not be contesting the general elections, are you going to make good on that promise, if I may? Yes, I have promised the cabinet that uh, I will not serve on the either of the two, whoever wins. And that means that I have come now to the end of my um, tenure as, as candidate, political candidate for the United Democratic Is Party. Some would argue, however, that if you wanted to resign from political life, you could have done so without necessarily offering yourself for this convention. Yeah, except them, um, saying that these are exceedingly unusual times, and the difficulties I see facing the country are so monumental that I thought it would imperative that I offer myself, given the experience that I have had over the years. I have been in this business from 1964. I have seen most things and I've heard most things, and I just thought that I would perhaps have a good chance of of, of positively. Um, helping to get the country to, over this very difficult period that we are really well, presently in. And I don't want to continue in a system where things appear to be getting worse on a daily basis and I am part of it. I mean, I can't escape it. So to the extent that I can disassociate myself from the situation in a reasonable way, I think that is my duty.